is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling bringing you my WWE Money in the Bank 2020 predictions video. Let's get right into it. Okay ladies and gentlemen, Money in the Bank this year is very, very different to normal. Very interesting. I am very excited for the pay-per-view. Obviously, the main matches will be taking place, I believe, in the Performance Centre still. But the Money in the Bank ladder matches themselves, the participants will start at the bottom of Titan Towers, WWE's official headquarters, and have to make their way all the way up to the roof to then get in the ring on the roof to then climb a ladder on the roof to get the money in the bank briefcase. Both the men's and women's matches will be taking place at the same time and it's going to be absolute carnage. I cannot wait for it. But before we get into that, there is some main card matches to talk about first and there really isn't much of them. And I'm very excited about this. They've kept it to the minimal, meaning it should be a nice, short, but very enjoyable pay-per-view. Let's get into match one. The New Day defending their SmackDown Tag Team Championship against Lucha House Party, Miz and Morrison, and the Forgotten Sons. Now, this is a fatal four-way match for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. The New Day have only just won the SmackDown Tag Team Championships at WrestleMania. I don't think they're going to lose it anytime soon. And due to that, obviously, well, I should mention, uh, I believe it's Jimmy Uso has been injured as well. So the Usos are off TV once again, unfortunately. Uh, we could see a curveball. Obviously, a lot of my opinion is going to be affected by having no crowd. Uh, what you may have noticed recently on WWE TV, they've been pushing stars that may not get a great reaction from a live crowd because there is no live crowd. They can experiment a bit more. Guys like Apollo Crews, for example. Um, so saying that... We could see the Forgotten Sons or Lucha House Party pick up a surprise win, but in my mind, I think New Day are going to retain. Let's move on. Okay, next up is the SmackDown Women's Championship match. Bailey versus Tamina. And I watched Cultaholic's Pitches video and Ross had a very good point. Um, obviously Tamina has been in WWE for 10 years now and she has not held one women's championship. She's held the 24-7 title and that is it. 10 years and that's all she's done. So having no crowd, obviously we know Tamina is not the most fantastic wrestler on the women's division. And I think having no crowd... And her being there loyal for 10 years, WWE could quite possibly give her the SmackDown Women's Championship. So because I really, I really don't care about Bayley's SmackDown Women's Championship run, it does nothing for me. Nothing against any of the women involved. But I've been wanting Bayley to lose that championship for a while now. Was hoping she'd lose it to Sasha or Lacey at Mania. That didn't happen. I just want to get the belt off of Bailey, to be honest. So I don't care who's going to do it. Uh, nothing against Bailey as a competitor once again. It's just her title run isn't doing anything for me. So let's freshen it up a bit. Believe it or not, I'm picking Tamina. Don't hate me in the comments. Let's move on. Okay, so next up we have a match for the Blue Universal Championship. Current champion. Braun Strowman, the monster among men, taking on his former Wyatt family leader, Bray Wyatt. Now, if you don't know this, uh, I don't know how you don't know this, but if you haven't been paying attention, Braun isn't facing the Fiend at Money in the Bank. He is facing Bray, similar to how Miz faced Bray at TLC. And due to that, I've got Braun winning. He's just won the Universal Championship. If you book yourself into a corner by having Bray Wyatt win the title again, then you have to make Bray Wyatt lose the title again. And it wouldn't be Bray that would lose it. It would be The Fiend again. So we don't want to see The Fiend lose twice. Uh, don't book yourself into a corner by throwing the strap on him. Keep it on Braun and have Bray lose. Now, I don't want Bray to lose clean. If he loses clean, I think it's going to not necessarily damage The Fiend because it isn't The Fiend competing. But, you know, it's not going to be helpful. Um, so have him lose, like... I don't know, I hate count out wins and stuff like that in WWE, but in times like these when there's no crowd and you sort of both guys need a win, you know, maybe a screwy finish like a count out win um, or a DQ or something, just please don't make Braun beat Bray clean. 
Um, the worst thing they can do, in my opinion, is have Braun literally squash Bray. Um, really don't want to see that at all. But hey-ho, Bray Wyatt is going to lose to Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman retaining the Blue Universal Championship. Let's move on to the next match. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have Drew McIntyre's second WWE Championship defense. First one in the main event of WrestleMania against Big Show uh, that aired the night after on Monday Night Raw. Um, and it is against probably the toughest opponent to throw at Drew first. And that is the Monday Night Messiah, my personal favorite wrestler, Seth freaking Rollins and unfortunately for Seth I have Drew McIntyre retaining the WWE Championship it is way too soon there is no chance in hell Vince Song um and like ugh, there is no way if I am wrong then I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm so confident in this there is no way Drew is losing the WWE Championship until he gets in front of a live crowd. Or if he does, he will have it back by the time live crowds come back. There is no way you build Drew McIntyre like you have to win the WWE title, winning the Rumble, beating Brock at Mania, to not have him have that belt in front of a crowd. You just don't do that kind of thing. Uh, so I think these two are going to have a really good match. And... I've got Drew retaining. Seth, hopefully, will most likely probably get a screwy finish, maybe. Uh, like interference from Buddy Murphy costs Seth the match, maybe something like that. Um, but Drew, at the end of the day, Drew will win clean. He will pin Seth one, two, three. Uh, that's my prediction. So yeah, Drew McIntyre to retain the WWE Championship against Seth Rollins. Let's move on to the main event. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main event matches. Now, these matches are taking place at the same time at Titan Towers, WWE HQ, from the floor to the roof, the men's and women's Money in the Bank ladder matches. This is going to be historic. It's going to be mental. Uh, I am absolutely buzzing for this. I can't wait to see what happens. And yeah... Women's Money in the Bank participants are as follows. Nia Jax, Asuka, Shayna Baszler, Lacey Evans, Carmella and Dana Brooke. Now, once again, let me go through the rules. You have to go from the bottom of Titan Towers all the way to the roof. You can take the stairs, you can take the lift, you can battle in the offices. Uh, but once you get to the roof, there is a ring on the roof with the ladders all up there. And then the Money in the Bank briefcase is hanging up above. Now, the woman I think is going to win the Money in the Bank ladder match. Hmm. I'm going with Asuka because I don't think Shayna Baszler is going to win. I think they've really spoiled her at WrestleMania. Um, I'm not going to say she was buried, but I don't see her as a credible threat anymore. So she's if she's buried in my head, then, you know, uh, I don't see her as a threat to Becky. Nia, I don't think needs the Money in the Bank briefcase to win, but she is a strong contender. Uh, I do think it's going to be a Raw superstar, so it's either Shayna, Nia, or Asuka. But I'm going with Asuka because why not? I believe Kyrie Sane's injured, so give Asuka something to do. Uh, Becky and Asuka never fail to deliver when they have matches. Um, and yeah, I mean, there is the argument that Becky obviously beat Asuka not too long ago at the Rumble. It's a tricky one, but Nia Jax or Asuka, that's my final one. I'm going to say Nia or Asuka. I don't think it's going to be Shayna. So that's the women's one. Then we move on to the men's. So the men's participants are as follows. Brand new to the match, AJ Styles versus Alistair Black versus Rey Mysterio versus Daniel Bryan versus Otis versus King Corbin. For the love of God, do not have Corbin win. If you recognise this briefcase, this is the one that I made a couple of years ago. This is the one Corbin won initially when he won Money in the Bank in 2017 and he lost to Jinder. Um, don't make Corbin win, for God's sake. My money in this match, Alistair Black. Please, I would love nothing more than to see Alistair Black win. Money in the Bank's whole purpose, in my eyes, is to make a mid-card talent be pushed up to the main event. Guys like The Miz have benefited from Money in the Bank. Guys like Seth Rollins have benefited from the Money in the Bank. Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler, although he wasn't there very long. All of these guys have won Money in the Bank cashed in, won the championship, the world championship, 
and that has kept them in the main event. Alistair Black has already proved he can be a bona fide uh, main eventer given the proper push. This is all he needs, money in the bank. Now, initially I really wanted to see Ricochet win, but Ricochet isn't even in the match, uh, so that's not fun. He's in the tag team with Cedric now, uh, doing fine. But I'm waffling. Honestly, Alistair Black should win this match. If it's not Alistair Black, AJ Styles or Rey Mysterio I wanna see win. But at the end of the day, I'm not gonna complain about anyone unless it's Corbin. If WWE pull the trigger on Corbin, I'm going to be pissed. And the thing is, they know they can get away with it because there's no live crowd to boo, um, which really does worry me. But I'm begging that it's Alistair Black to win. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was my WWE Money in the Bank 2020 predictions video. Who do you think is going to win the Money in the Bank briefcases? Uh, do you think any of my predictions are wrong? If you do, tell me in the comments section down below. I will be watching and reacting to most of these matches live and yeah i will see you tomorrow night at money in the bank i've been joe from joe talks wrestling you guys have been awesome stay tuned for more wrestling content please be sure to give this video a like comment and subscribe goodbye